Black music is the soundtrack to life. You wake up and you dress for black music. You get your hair cut for black music. You watch TV shows and movies because of black music. It kind of scores all those different moments from going to the club to riding with your friends in the car to crying and holding on to loved ones. It's very much attached to the way that a lot of us white, black, and other live out our day-to-day -day lives, whether we know it or not. It tells a story. It sets the pace, it sets the tone, it's culture, it's now, it's before, it's the future. You see a lot of artists get their inspiration from black music in one way, form, or fashion, even if they don't know. It's everything. My name is Tunde Balligan. This is Sean Famoso. My name is Carla Ramon. Love Renaissance is, at heart, a family professionally a uh, record label and creative management company based out of Atlanta, Georgia. We all met each other in various parts of our lives. Tunde and myself have known each other since high school. After getting to college, we met Carlin, Justice Jr. We just kind of rose through the ranks and learned a lot as we started to get new talent. Rory being the first, Drum, then Black, Summer Walker. We slowly found our way into having enough success to ink a partnership with Interscope and have been trying to kill it ever since. Love Renaissance, the name kind of stemmed from, you know, when we were creating our company, we felt that there was just a lack of just love and attention to, to women in general um, within music that we kind of wanted to bring back. The Atlanta sound is kind of known for just trap music and money, strip up drugs. And I think that, you know, as much as that does represent where we come from, we also want to just kind of shine a light on another left side of Atlanta. That kind of just came from who we personally are as first generation immigrants. My family's from Trinidad, Sean is Jamaican, Tunde is Nigerian, and then Junia and Justice are Ghanaian. The idea of Renaissance is like having a movement that expands past general demographics or race or anything else, just like a human movement. COVID changed everything about the nature of the work and our process. Just kind of seeing how close we all are to all of our artists to the point that we can just throw around quick ideas inside of a group chat and then give them to the world. Literally just pitch an idea to your artist real quick who may just be chilling at the house with a couple songs ready to go and his birthday's around the corner. The hot sauce concept in general is just super fun because one, if you're a black fan, you know chicken wings are his favorite food. And being from Atlanta, hot sauce is important and chicken wings are important. Being able again to blend something that people can take away from the music and just give them an environment to listen to the music, I think is what we did really well. We've gotten to the point with corporate partners trust us to do cool shit. Back in the day, we had to go find all the money in the world to do it ourselves. But now it's really dope to have people know that they can just trust you with the reins. People don't realize the benefit of actually having the people that are in the culture. Make sure the people behind the music or what's going on are actually reflective of the people making it and putting it out from a cultural view. Being able to be vocal, especially in our position about what's right, who should be getting these jobs, and also pushing away the old system. Being a Black executive is just a very important role. I think that within the Black community, it's often hard to come together because the system has often put us at odds with one another. So I think that when you do have a collective group of Black people that can come together, it's a beautiful thing, it's an amazing thing. I think the music industry benefits a lot off of black music and there haven't been a lot of high level black executives to kind of oversee and protect the nurturing of that. It's our job to open the doors for other black executives because rap and hip hop and R&B is the number one genre in the world right now. It's so evident that there are certain things that are cancerous within the industry that have for generations taken some of our favorite artists away, some of our favorite executives away. It's hard for us to just naturally watch that. It's hard for us to have an artist that we know is going through something 
but just continue to throw them on stage. The idea of mental health, especially in the Black community, there isn't a, a natural education around it because a lot of people are just worried about where their next meal is coming from, that the idea of mental health is a luxury. It's not genius, it's, it's responsible. You know, it's what's supposed to have been happening. Working somewhere for my fashion will always be there, but your health and your mind won't if you don't take care of it. You know, even us as partners, we have group sessions also just to do things. So I think it's, it's about being intentional about keeping your mental and your health well. There are many issues that plague us as a Black community and many things we, we want to address. The Black Music Action Coalition, it's a way for us to kind of come together, point out everything we want to address and like align it. Some things are now, some things for, are for the future. I tell people it's a marathon, not a sprint. Love for instance, Elvira and Zaho, I would love to just go down as just like an amazing black owned company that set the standard and set a, a new base for black entrepreneurs in general. For us, what could be really important is creating a legacy for a time period that we were at the forefront of making sure that people that look like us think like us and that just needed an opportunity that you know we kind of provided for. I would love for us to one day be in like Fast Company's best places to work for, to be honest. Like we literally like go our way to make sure like we have an environment to like have that. We have very big aspirations. It helps us help everybody else. The more things we have going on globally, the more opportunities that we can provide also. Just using our power to help other black creatives.